Welcome to Make a Break Society's video on upgrading the power back of the Sega Game Gear. Footage of this process totaled just over two hours, so I've decided to break this up into three parts. This is part three, covering reassembly. You can find links to parts one and two in the description and at the end of this video. Now with that out of the way, let's get into it. So next we're going to move on to getting the battery into the shell. First things first, we're going to line up the shell. Okay. What we're looking for here is where the battery connector sits. The connector is going to end up somewhere about there. That'll do the job just fine. Then the blue gun's all set up. We're at temp. Kind of like exactly the way this is set here. that cool a little bit and then hopefully and that's why I put nice big balls on each of these ones because there's such a big gap there to fill and I don't want to use like a bunch of glue kind of everywhere so I'm hoping that it like droops down a little bit and just makes a little bit of contact with the other side so it all stays put without falling out because like I said I would rather use a good double-sided tape in here, making everything a little bit easier to remove down the road. So I'll be removing this out if and when I find it. I doubt I'll make a video on that, but... So now I'm going to get everything cleaned up here, and uh, we'll finish this install. Alright, let's get it back together. of it should be working still. And all the OEM functions. So if I were to plug this in here, notice that it's not flashing. Well, looks like I'm going to have to take it apart. It's hard to see there, but the charge indicator light didn't push through properly, which means the board's slightly misaligned, and I probably could have told that by the fact that it's got a gap there. Let's try that again. We still have a little bit of misalignment here, and I don't know if you can see that. Doesn't look like you're going to be able to, but there's a 
There's a hairline crack here. So the case is actually separating a little bit right there. Which is part of what's causing there. You, go, you can see it. Which is part of what's causing this problem here. Now, let's plug it in again. Charge indicator shows up quite nicely. Again. So not that it's going to really be necessary for this, but I'm going to now start, I'm going to charge it for a bit. The downside to the charger is uh, it doesn't tell you when uh, it's, it's fully charged, but alright, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and remember, until next time, doesn't matter if you make or break, as long as you're having fun.